That's better. Ah, okay. there you go. I'm proud of you. All right, turn that game on. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. Come on, Serena. That that took way too long. That was. I, I don't do this. I don't be on Discord stream. Like this is new to me. So give me some grace, y'all, because I don't even be doing this. All right. That's fair. Little Drew. Yeah, Drew, come on, Drew. No spin backs, too, bro. <laughs> they said it took me. <laughs> you ready, Drew? Yeah. All right, let's get it. Just uh, ask her anything up, related Drew? to the show and bust it up with her. So, like, why'd you think you were going to the restaurant after Rod said it like six times that you need a date? Um, I already had plans prior to like the whole date night stuff. Um, so I already know in my mind, I wasn't going to go on a date with any of the boys there. Like not even trying to be disrespectful, but I already made up my mind. I'm not going to date with none of them boys there. Um, I don't really want to spoil the next episode, but I already had a date. It just wasn't anybody in the house. Right. And me and Didi kind of talked off camera. We was like, if we don't get asked to the date, it was either going to be me and her that go out to eat regardless, or she going to go out to eat with somebody. I'm going to go out. To, yeah. So that's how that went. All right. Yeah, that was my only question. But you did do some dumb shit. I can't lie. What I did? You, he said I did dumb shit? What I did? He <laughs> left. I don't know. Oh. Uh. <laughs> All right. Yo, yeah. Yo, Rod. All right. Let's get it, bro. All right. Uh, I, got, I got two questions. So what was your experience like on Luck City? Um, aside from all the drama, Ux City was cool. Like, it was mad fun. Got flew out to Palm Springs. Who wouldn't want to get flew out to Palm Springs? Like, niggas just don't go to Palm Springs. I, I don't know. It was a vibe. It was cool. Like, it was an experience. I'm an artist. I sing. So I don't really be in tune with, like, the YouTube influencer lane. So it was cool. What's up with you on Brock? No, Brock really my man's for real. Like, that's really the bro. Um, I just didn't like how he asked me on the date. Like, I was like, you know, the second pick, like what Diddy said. And on top of that, he was already on Diddy's body. So why would I ever go on a date with Brock? Like, I stand on principles and morals. So that just was like, you know, it, like, it wasn't on no disrespectful shit. I wasn't disrespecting him, but I was just looking at him what like, why face, would you though? ask me that? Because it's like, face? why would you? me that out of all people why me knowing that i'm literally like Didi's Dee right hand man's on the show why would you ask me that mm -hmm. knowing you were on Didi body that don't make no sense all right yeah that's all i had though all right yo um great uh season you uh rock right, thank you bro appreciate you yeah. that makes sense tosh how you feeling <laughs> man he looked at brock like he was a roach yo me? No, I did not. I just didn't like that. Like, I don't know. That was weird. Like, uh-uh. Right. If, if one of your mans came and, you know, it was vice versa and they did that, you were saying fuck no to you. was looking at them like they was crazy. <laughs> I think it's different because I'm a nigga. Me and my homies would look at you like you funny and laugh and just let it ride. Mm. Uh. I don't know. What's her picture? Yo, come um, on, Tosh. What picture is that? Chill out. Come on. The girls watch Bro. it. Switch it. <laughs> no, that, stop doing stuff like that to make people screenshots you make that your picture. All right. Oh, shit. The actual whole picture is way worse. Go ahead, so. Tosh. I kind of like okay. it, too. Okay, Serena, I have two questions. You know. So you so you remember how they did the prank on you or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Why why was you letting them pop it with you during the prank, but now that y'all home on TikTok, you mm -hmm. popping it, but you wasn't popping that in the house. You was real quiet. Right. So the real tea on that, 
Mm-hmm. These YouTubers influencers, they did a lot for camera. So I'm gonna say like five minutes before Magic even did that prank, I was all posted up with her posing and her vlog, whatever. So I was just mad confused, right? When they did the prank, mm-hmm. I kind of was looking at them like with a stupid face, just kind of staring at them because I peeped, they all left to go in in Layla room. So they all like was in a huddle coming up with a master plot. Then they came back and did the prank. Mm-hmm. So it took me all the way up guard. So I'm kind of just looking at them like, are y'all okay? In my so mind, okay. I fake knew it was a prank because it was just so random. Like Cleo saying we're weird because we don't want to take shots. That already just threw me off guard because it's like, how we weird because we don't want to drink alcohol. So, you know, it, that was just giving me Diddy vibes off strength already. Oh. Um, they, they just, I don't know. They just popped it with us for no reason. And it, it was no reason to begin with. So I'm just looking at them like, this doesn't make no yeah, sense. Olympic so liar. I told, um, what? what's her name, Nisa? I'm like, come on, let's go. Like, I already know it was yeah. a prank. I was laughing at it. You feel me? Yeah. Um, popped it with Chicago already when she yeah. threatened to take my stuff. So that was just a whole nother thing. That's when I really, like, you know, popped it. But outside of that, the prank, I don't really, you know, give a fuck about that. But you could just tell, like, they really felt that. So when I came back to New York and I'm watching the episode over, I'm like, mm-hmm. nah, he's really, like, weird. And then they continued to, like, pop it on TikTok after the whole prank was done. Was so, mm-hmm. yeah, that's why I okay. popped with them. I didn't feel the need to pop with them when the prank was going on because it was just dumb. It made no sense. Like, they was doing it for cameras because when cameras is not on, they're not really like that. When cameras are on, they're like that. So, but I feel like you did that, like, throughout the whole show so far. Like, what we've seen, you was more popping it in a confessional mm-hmm. or, like, on in the interviews, then when the situation's actually going on, you just didn't say nothing on the spot in the moment. You said it outside, distance, you know, interview with Flav or Siege. But I mean, it wasn't nothing okay. for me to really, like, pop it about for real. Like, that's, that's how they act on camera. Off camera, they're completely different people. You got to get what I'm saying, like... They okay. they come up with a whole script, whole plan, just when cameras are rolling. But when cameras aren't rolling, they coming in me and Didi's room, you know, confiding in us, talking to us. I mean, y'all seen in this episode, Magic chilling in our room. Like, you feel me? So it just, it was yeah. weird. Yeah. They was doing okay. a lot for camera time, and I don't even be on that. Okay. Um, I have another question, though. Then I'm done. Well, it's like, okay. First of all, why is they saying that you don't got no furniture in your apartment? <laughs> and why? I think, it, I think it's because I keep, I keep clocking them. I keep clocking them because it's like, y'all yeah, really popped and scary in real life. They say, like, come on, niggas, y'all got furniture. They panicking, the for real. They popped. They they pop okay, so you do in. got furniture in your apartment. Yes, my love. I got furniture in my apartment. Okay, why you didn't want to show the apartment when Maj asked you when you showed the I lottery? did show. I was running out of service. Like, I did show it, though. Y'all want a house tour? I could put a house tour on no, my YouTube no, channel. No, no, we, you had your chance. We don't want that no more. It, we believe oh, you. It's okay. Well, well, what you expect me to do? The fuck? I just said I don't we want a house tour no more. We don't want it, Serena. It's okay, boo. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Bye, Rod. Fuck. I got chill. Let me see a crib. Like we are we doing a battle wars like a crib war? Like the fuck? Like come on, niggas know my body already, so it ain't even on that. But let's stay on topic. Yeah, stay stay on topic with these niggas. Don't 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 let niggas take your head off, yo. <laughs> yeah. Why you so low? Damn, why you on 10%? All right, go ahead. I'm about to say, I got, like, I got one question for you. And, and I was thinking, like, when they were saying they was going to go pet your shit, mm-hmm. your show, like, what was really going through your mind? Like, what you thinking? Like, yo, they touched my shit. I'm going to sock the shit out. This, like, you feel me? No, like, exactly, yeah. That's exactly what was going through my mind. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I knew it was a prank at first, but... Don't let that prank drag on for too long. If you go and touch my Hermes slides and my top four heels, it's going to be a problem. Like, that's okay. why I kept telling them. Yeah, they was going to get the boot for sure. 
So you felt like you would have put belt to ass if they would have yeah, like yeah, yeah, uh, belt to ass, yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, all right. About yeah. Shit. Yeah. Nah, that's kind. I think I think it showed that you was on that when it came about your shit. Like, come on, bro. I don't even play like that. I'm not about to just pop it for the cameras, but don't take it too far now, cause yeah. Yo. What's good? What's, yeah. what's up? I'm not gonna lie, Rod. First off, I gotta I gotta lay it down like this, bro. You did your man's Brock bad. <laughs> you did him bad in the start, bro. How how instantly, right? Mm-hmm. Wanted him to go talk to Serena. Mm-hmm. Of all people, that was kind of like, uh, he know- could have really anybody. Mm-hmm. If anything, shoot, he could have just stayed home. But going to Serena and then having her say, "You know better," as a man, though, as a Yeah, so Wait, did next he, oh, time, he went in and out? Yeah, yeah, one second. Yeah, so next time you come up, remember, this is not my interview. It's Serena's. So my mind's going to get y'all out quicker. We wanted y'all to see the type of material that we not even allowing. It's questions for Strictly Serena. You come up, you ask me a question, you out of here faster than him, okay? Let's keep it moving. I'm not going to count his spot. All right, Hello? <laughs> Yo, right, yo, let's get it. How you doing, Serena? Hey, yeah. Uh, all right, so Pete, uh, one one big question I got: Did you really mess with Rare? Like, was no. he throwing? Or was you just playing? We was both just playing. <laughs> like Rare's, like he's like Rare? I I know him for mad long. We got songs together and stuff. So you was on oh. Rare, and then the Shay came in, and then I. It's like y'all was inseparable. I I never seen you without Duche. <laughs> so what 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 question are you asking me? I'm asking, was you messing with Duche or Rare? I wasn't messing with neither of them. So you was just fake messing with them, just on their body. When did you see me messing with Duche? Just because I was next to him? It's on 4K. <laughs> Duche went on stream. You would literally sit like you were literally sitting on his lap. Because That's I, how close was, you was. Who, I was sitting on who's lap? Deshay or, or Deshay? Deshay. Oh, I wasn't sitting on Deshay lap. You got to come with your facts correct. All I was right. sitting next to Deshay, but that don't mean if I'm sitting next to a My guy. Fault. I forgot I'm y'all be drinking. Time. My fault. <laughs> Wait, nah, show me where I was sitting. No, my fault. I was never sitting at me as lap. I forgot y'all be drinking. Yo, let's clear the air up. I don't talk to Deshay. I don't talk to Rare. I didn't talk to no niggas on this show. I was just sitting on Deshay's lap. I was sitting next to him. Okay. So okay. Him, my love. So you were sitting on his lap. Did I say that? I just said I was you sitting next to him. You just said that? I just said I was sitting next to him. Did I? Did I not? Yo, yo, no, this is crazy. All right. But since it, you were talking like it that, me. do you got wash and dryer in your home? Where do you reside, Serena? Yeah, I do have a washing dryer. I see Madge really popped it on you. Like, where, where do you I, actually... I do got a washing dryer. Do you have a washing dryer? Oh, I got a washing dryer. Samsung. Right upstairs. And it come with a dryer room. That's, I got LG. I don't got to walk down to the lobby. Don't pop it oh, with I me. Don't, I don't got to walk, walk down to the lobby either. I can actually... And I, I really was messing with you, Serena, because you from New York. You did your big one. But come oh, on, bro. thank you. I appreciate you. The lobby... Come on. I was yeah. in the lobby. And, and Madge popping it. Like, Madge really cooked you on live. It was like, it was, it was a lot of people in there, bro. Me. Like, he just moved into. Cook, no, no. He, 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 cook you. he can't cook me. He, he can't you. cook me. I make way more bread than y'all. Than him. Like, mm. he can't cook me. What the fuck? I mean, I got furniture, so I don't really know what you mean by y'all. You Maybe you was oh. talking about Madge, though. I don't I don't know about me though, but regardless of anybody, furniture, no furniture, mod, whatever, yeah, yeah, like niggas is pop frill, so I don't care what y'all saying right now. Mm. Okay, <laughs> well that that'll be it. Uh, maybe she need to go get her some new furniture, maybe. All right, bro, chill, chill. <laughs> but that's the thing, right, chat? That's the only thing I can say. No furniture, this furniture. So it's like, what else can I really say about me? We could go furniture for furniture. 
We could go band Not for band. Too much of us, Arena. Like, <laughs> <laughs> chill, please. Hello. Yeah. I can turn my camera on. Yeah. Yo, what's the rock? I, I, I. Is there a limit to the questions? Yeah. If they get too dumb. All right. All right. All right, I'm gonna bust it out real quick. Show me, show me, show me. All right, so look. I, oh, so you got the setup? Type, 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 feel me? All right, but look, my first question is why you did Brock like that? Uh, only because, like, I'm very loyal when it comes to, like, the people I really mess with. Like, GD, she's really, like, out of this. I would really call her, like, my sister. Even though we fake just met on the show, but she's just so real and. I wasn't having that. Like, I know it doesn't really show on the show, but Brock really was on Didi for real. Like, he really messed with Didi. And, you know, he's going to cap for the show and make it seem like he wasn't. But he was. And I'm not doing that to my man. It's like, it's weird. I, I, and my second question is, remember when you said you and Rare go way back and he said, like, final chords in, in a car seat? Do you, you know, like, do you understand how that joke Wait, say it again? <laughs> you, remember when, you remember when you and Rare... I mean, remember when you said you and Rare go way back, and he said, mm -hmm. like, spinal cords in a car seat. Do you know how that joke worked now? Spinal, spinal cord in a car seat? Yes. Do you know no, how that worked? I didn't, right, I so didn't look, get right, so look, you know what a spinal cord is? Feel me? Like, that's your back. Feel me? Like, type shit. And, you right. know, like, you sit back on a car seat. Feel me? So it's right. like, you and him go way back. And Nigga that's where. why he said, like, spinal cord Nigga in where. car seats. <laughs> Nigga, where? <laughs> I, yeah, but, uh, she don't get it. It's fine. One more. One more. <laughs> one more. And then I want to know how is Brock's fault for, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. It's saying like he should know better if like when he was, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Didi kept arguing with the nigga. He, he no, he didn't. Didi kept. Wait, wait. Let me finish real quick. Let me finish real quick. Uh -huh. She was fake blowing me on how she was arguing with the nigga. So. And then after in the mid argument, this nigga ride with that L. You wanna go on a date with me? And she say yes. I'm like, oh, okay, right in front of the nigga, right? So look, now it's them two, and you know, you we all just watched the episode. So he's like, he's like, they telling him, oh, magic wanna use him. Da 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 da. Sabrina's already getting ready, right? Just go with Sabrina, and you wanna go, Sabrina. My fault, my fault, and you wanna go. Give him that. Like, oh my God. Why did why'd you feel like that was necessary? You could have just said no. But you just Brock, Brock is a shark. Brock was already doing on mad missions. Not enough. He was on mad missions already. On top of that, he was already no, on DD body. No, it's not a part of the show. It was real life. Y'all don't know. Brock no, real life. That's the point of the show to shark. Well, personally, me coming on the show. I didn't want to talk to none of the niggas there. And everybody knew that. So for out of all people for Brock to come up on me, knowing that Brock liked Didi, I wasn't having that. It could have been anybody else that came to me asked me on a date, and they probably would have never got that same reaction. It was just like, come Yo, on. Brock, that, 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 Brock, that said that. Yeah, he's the only nigga that asked me out of all people, and you you was trying to mess with Didi. So, yeah, that was weird to me. I I, I feel you. Yo, Rod, thank you. Have a nice night, y'all. Feel me? Appreciate you, bro. Good night. I fuck with him. He invested. Yeah, he's cool. I ain't tried. <laughs> I ain't tried to disrespect you like that, but nigga. I don't understand why niggas come on here and try to disrespect, though. Like, I'm a whole female. Like, please. Hello. Yo. My people's already came up here, popped it with you, so I'm not even on that. But. I wanted to ask, I got two questions. My first question is, out of all the girls on the little John, where do you think you rank out of, like, looks? Where do I think I rank? I mean, I don't want to rank myself. I think all the girls on the show are fire. You, you think you top three at least? Um, I don't know. Y'all got to answer that. I don't want to rank myself. That's mad, like, cocky. I feel that, I feel that, I feel that. All right, then my next question is: You was you was out there, right? When y'all was when y'all was drinking, y'all was cooling and everything, right? And everybody was getting like everybody popped it often, like 
the season not even over. Everybody back and forth with each other. Shit spicy. So, like, I ain't really see you, like, do your big one. Like, what's up? What happened to, like, the baddie from Queens? Mm. <laughs> um... Let me let me let me answer that question for you. And there's no disrespect to you, Rod. No. But Rod Rod is not paying me to argue and fight with no girls on the show. Respectfully, when Rod hit me up and he invited me to be on the show, and I could go to the messages. I asked him, I said, like, what is this? Like reality TV? Is this gonna be something like baddies? What? He said, no. Nothing like baddies, but don't quote me on this. That's not like specifically what he said, but in general speaking, he said, no, nothing like baddies. Like it's reality TV. You're going to come on here, have a good time. Not get paid to argue and fight with nobody. Now, if Miss Natalie Nunn herself called me and asked me to come on baddies and she's paying me to pop somebody in the mouth, then yeah, I'm going to do it. But respectfully, I came on there to have a good time. To, you know, let people know who Serena Smart is. Let them know that she's a fire singer from Queens. And that's that. I ain't come on here to pop it, though. Unless, like, you know, people really take it there. But if you're just doing all that rah-rah on my face, like, come on, bro. I'm from New York. That ain't nothing to me. It's either you you, you swinging, showing your hands, right. or you just, just one or the other. All right, so you went like that for free is what I'm here. Say it again? So you went like that for free. I got flowed out flown out it's just it's not really no but i mean yeah i guess you could say that went there free yeah facts i went to palm springs for free i ate at and had a private chef for free i was in a pool for free we was in black trucks for free like <laughs> i guess you could say that yeah i would i wouldn't let people pop it with me if i'm out there for free too you're right enjoy your trip you enjoyed <laughs> it that's what's up i did enjoy my trip it was a great experience Lee. Yo. Uh, how you I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, Serena, we got a question for you. Um, I noticed earlier you were saying like the reason like ah uh, you wasn't gonna go was because like you had plans already. Why are you getting in the truck? Say it again. Nah, like why are you getting in the truck though? Like if you already had plans, like for the. <laughs> oh, okay. So. <laughs> Damn, I don't want to. I don't really want to spoil the next episode, but being nah, that but you say you had plans though, so yeah, you want to let me talk? Oh yeah, my fault. So being that we were in Palm Springs already, when you drive, like a lot of stuff be further out. I had plans already to meet somebody somewhere. So where they went, I don't really want to spoil it, but where they went, I was close in another restaurant to where they went. So I'm on some. All right. I'm a ride with Rod to where they going, and I can meet up who I need to meet up with. But at that point, Rod was like, nah, if y'all not going on a date, like, y'all got to stay home. So I'm like, no, I bet, say no more. I wasn't really tripping about it. Got a truck called for me to go where I needed to go, and that was that. Okay, okay, where? Was it worth it? Yeah, I ate really good. I had where? some good food. Yeah, What'd you eat? I had, I had lamb chops. I had mashed potatoes. I had boom boom shrimp, and I brought some back for Flav and Cleo too. What? Mhm. Mm oh, all right. Fuck Cleo though. Yeah, I appreciate you though, Rod. I'm gonna catch up. <laughs> appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Yo, Nas. Oh yeah, we on this joint. Hey. So what's good, my nigga? I'm good, Serena. So my whole thing hey. is, why you trying to mess Rod motion up? When you hit him with the Diddy not going, if you feel me, you mean like what's up with that? No, I wasn't trying to. That's a good question. I wasn't trying to mess his motion up though, but I was just on some like, being that I had plans already, I wanted Diddy to come no. with me. No. But no. you feel me, and it worked she out like that. Diddy went on her date, on top of her and I went on mine. Ain't nothing crazy though. Type John, type John, type John, type John. Hey. Yeah, so, like, why they keep telling me show your lobby? Like, what's up with that? Well, actually, I'm not in my luxury apartment building right now. I'm actually um, in Long Island. Um, So, I really can't show you a lobby. I mean, I could show you a crib, but that's kind of federal. Yo, I, but... can't, 
right, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm gonna fuck with you. All right, nah. All right, how you how you feeling so far? Is it is, is better than you thought? Um, nah, I'm chilling, but they keep asking about furniture and cribs. Like, I think somebody said I don't got no bed. How? I y'all just nah, trolling at the right now, right? Yeah, in my California King. They yeah. trolling right yeah. now though. In the bed though? Yes, bro, in my bed. Right. Oh fuck you. Well, you think I'm sleeping on a blow up? <laughs> nah, I don't think you don't have furniture. They dragged it. I know, they trolling. Yero. Yo. <laughs> I'm crazy. Yo. <laughs> fuck out of here then, little nigga. He was one of the last two. Yo, don't don't fuck your shit up. We're doing two more. Alright, talk to me. Alright, uh Rena. Hey. So I just got one question. Mm -hmm. So Brock my man, you feel me? And you did him kinda crazy. Cause Rod was going at Diddy, so you did him kind of crazy, but I ain't mad at you. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But since Brock couldn't take you on a date, right? Who who on the show could have took you on that date? Mm, I probably would have went with. I probably would would have went with Rare or. Yeah, I think the only person I probably would have went with was Rare for. Yeah. I knew it. Bro. All right, that's the only question I had. You doing your shit, Rod? Appreciate you, buddy. Yo. Yo. Nigga sound like mouth. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up with you? No, I just got one question, though. Serena, you know it's supposed to be a reunion. Like, we going to see you in a reunion? I don't even know when the reunion is. I'm saying though, you, is you going if it is one, you, we gonna see you in there. Nah, if it is one, I'll I'll pull up for sure. Um, it depends on my schedule though. Like I'm dead supposed to be going on tour soon, so Rod gotta let me know like the dates and stuff, and you know just make sure it lines up with like my schedule and what I got going on. All right, that's it. That's it. That's all I wanted to know. Okay, appreciate you, buddy. Yeah. Yo. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, what's up, Rod? What's up, Serena? What's up? Hey. Um. So my first question is, um, how you feel about uh Cleo pouring shots? Um. Like in the beginning, when I, cause I don't really know like Cleo like that in the beginning. At first, I thought it was cool, like, you know, she was taking shots. She wanted everybody to vibe. But as I sat and watched, like, you know, all the episodes where she was forced to shots with people, <laughs> even after that prank, I realized, like, something is seriously wrong with her because she really keeps forcing shots on people and she don't take shots. Like, I think it was a whole argument that started with her and somebody just off of them not wanting to take shots. So... It just, I told her, like, I was like, she kind of do give, like, R. Kelly vibes because, like, dang, my liver go fuck up. I don't want to take no more shots. We've been drinking every day, every single day. Like, I need to drink some lemon water, detox something. Like, this is too much liquor for me. Oh, all right. Uh, and my last question is, how you feel about uh, Lisa getting uh, voted out? I was sad, like. Because we both from Queens. I was sad. It was her first day there. I feel like nobody really gave her the time to, like, show her personality. And I feel like just that prank alone, it was whack. Like, y'all just wanted her to argue and do all the rah-rah for the cameras. Her first day there, which is mad corny. Like, y'all don't... If y'all going on a show, y'all don't want to be known for that. So, I don't know. I thought it was kind of fucked up. All right. But, uh, appreciate for having me on your ride. No problem, broski. Be safe. All right, mud. Yo, who ended it all? Who ended it all? See, Diddy. 
Now nah, she crazy with the shots. That's a lot of shit she did, and the camera. As it's much as too she much. Sneaky, as much as she tried to be sneaky, the camera catch her a lot. It's too much. Mm-hmm. She did it to me. She said in a prank. She said I was weird because I'm faking shots. <laughs> I wasn't even faking shots at the time. I just wasn't sipping but on me, it. Niggas thought I was doing too much when we was on the couch, and I wasn't even defending Didi. I just was like, bro, you you getting Didi drunk, and I'm watching Didi take the shots, and you're not taking the shots. And she she wasn't taking no shots. Yeah, like, bro. That's when I'm like, bro, you That's actually devious. getting people drunk. And she said it. She said, I like I like having fun. I like getting people drunk. That's devious. Yeah. That's devious. <laughs> That's nasty work. End it off with me. What's your shit? Come on. Because he going to ask something. All right, I see you. Go ahead. We're going to end it off with you. Go ahead. Come on. You trolling. Come on, bro. Take us home. Yo. Talk to me. So, Serena, why you call it bootleg baddies? <laughs> All right. I called it bootleg baddies because I, nobody knew that we was coming on a show where it was going to be people arguing and fighting and spraying bear mace. Like, that was not the plan. I watched. I did my little research on Ugg City. I watched the last two seasons. Everybody was chilling. Nobody was fighting, arguing, doing all the extra ghetto shit. So, that's why I called it bootleg baddies because it ain't no way... I came on this trip thinking shit was going to be sweet and niggas is fighting. Right. So it was just very much ghetto to me and that is why I called it bootleg baddies. Like, Rod don't, didn't even want to promote fighting on the show. Like, you feel me? So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. My second question is, why you record the fight and you ain't break it up? That's your right hand, right? What's up with you? Right. So, yeah, I think y'all know everything. And Rod definitely cleared this up on a couple streams ago. Mm-hmm. When the fight was happening, I was outside with seven cops, me and Leek. And they got Leek on here to say, like, yeah, Serena was outside with me. I was outside with the cops. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. I remember that. My bad, okay. my bad. Yeah, you I good. That. You want me to keep right, it my last story? question is, how oh, was okay. the experience in general? Um, you me? My experience, it was cool. I wish a lot of shit would have went differently. I wished, honestly, there wasn't any drama or no messy shit. And, like, at the end of the trip, you know, all the girls, we all could have been cool. We all could have been friends. Um, But for the most part, you know, it was cool. Like, All right. Cool, cool. That's it. Appreciate you. Later. Appreciate you, buddy. Okay, that's a W. But... But if it was baddies, would you fuck with the drama? She said it. She said if she was getting paid. All right, yo, I appreciate everybody that's in the waiting room. Let's clap it up for Serena. She talked up. She said she was lying from the rip. But you see me in the bottom. Like, I'm ready to 